Okay, we're gonna talk about these two lovely plugs right here. These are your 250 amp plugs that come out the side of the cabinet. Now the reason I'm actually working on mine today is you will notice here that the back side says that the Y is red and the black is X. Now, that's an interesting issue because I'm gonna show you something over here. We come over here to this plug of what's coming into the trailer. So this is the uh, where the generator or the grid would be connected. You'll see that Y is black and X. Let's see if I can get down there. Uh, can you see X? And you can't really see it very well, but underneath there, X is red. Okay, so Y is black, X is red. Now let's go look over here again. What did I say before? Oh, look at that. X should be Y. So whoever wired this trailer got those two wires switch swaps. Now the reason why this matters so much is because I'm going to be connecting this cabinet here to another cabinet behind my trailer. Back there, my trailer's a real mess. I got to clean that up. Anyway, you'll see that I hung a second cabinet on the back of my trailer. And as just as a kind of a test run, I ran a cord from this plug to the side of my other cabinet back there, to, this, to the plug that's right there. And it worked really good, except it didn't seem right. It ended up having the slaves out of order because this is my master. This is my slave, one. And in the back there, I would want slave two to be there, which would be equivalent to where the master normally would be, and slave three there. But because of this plug, it was backwards. Very interesting, hey? So anyway, I'm going to fix this. Uh, but I thought I'd show you how I, how I exposed that plug because it took me a while to figure this one out. The best way to do this is to take this little uh, clamp that's right on here off, take that clamp off, and then when you unscrew the plug cover, which is this guy right here, he has four holes in him, and I took those screws out, and as soon as you take those screws out, this guy is now hooked in here, and you can see that there's two more screws, one there and then one underneath here. As soon as you take those two screws out, this whole thing gets pretty loose. But the only problem is that to be able to get it through that little, you know, you have to fight this little clamp a little bit. I, uh, I went ahead and loosened this clamp. Like I took a screwdriver and kong, 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 hit that there uh, and loosened it up off the box. Because you can see how the, <clears throat> the clamp has deformed this wire just a little bit. <clears throat> and as such, it doesn't really fit into that hole very easily. So it's a lot easier to fight this thing when you can wiggle it and move it, and then you get it down, and then eventually you'll get it on the, the back neck like that. And once you get on the back neck like that, then you can just push that cable right through the back of that box. Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and reverse my plug and put it all back together again, and then I'll be happy. Uh, but I thought I'd make this quick little video for those of you that are interested.